Hello everyone, welcome to the YouTube channel Mission Net Physics Exam. And guys, today in this video, we will be discussing some more important concepts, question, and the most important points I will be sharing here in this video, which will surely help you to understand the concepts of electromagnetic theory and actually what you need to prepare from a particular topic. What are the things you need to focus on them more and more? So we will be covering all these things in this video today and I hope each and every point which I will be discussing in this video will get clear to all of you. So today's discussion will be related to electromagnetic theory and as we all know like mostly uh, like people are going to find the electromagnetic theory as a difficult subject, they are going to have some fear about this subject but guys you should know one more thing about the subject that it's not at all difficult and if you are having some idea about the things for example what you need to prepare what kind of questions you can expect and what actually is the requirement of the exam uh, related to the subject so once you will understand that you will be finding that oh actually it's so easy there is nothing like difficult thing in this subject and that's what we are gonna try to do today in this video we will be trying to make it quite easy for you okay so let's start the discussion but before that a little bit information about uh, the unacademy plus subscription and the unacademy plus courses i will be sharing here because that thing can even help you a lot to do the best preparation for your upcoming exam okay since you know now you are having the information and the update about your upcoming csr net as well as for the gate exam so you are having just some time remaining before these exams so if you think you want to get the guidance by the top educators and you want to attend the regular live classes by the top educators we are having on unacademy plus for your upcoming exam preparation so guys in that case you can take the unacademy plus subscription and whenever you will be proceeding further to take the subscription you will be getting a place to write the referral code so there you can write the referral code which is anjali a live as it has been mentioned here on the screen or you can use and apply the referral code which is Anjali Aurora as it has been mentioned here on the screen both are correct but at a time you will be just using any one of these referral codes so any one of these ones you can use and apply and you can start attending the live classes and the most important courses sessions by the top educators on Unacademy Plus and even guys once when you will be taking the subscription after that you will be able to join you will be able to attend the live classes of the well structured and well planned courses by the top educators which will be helping you a lot to do the best preparation for your upcoming exam one more important thing i would like to share here that we are having the unacademy plus as well as unacademy iconic subscription available on unacademy learning app so if you think you want to take the plus subscription, you can proceed further to take this subscription. You will be getting these benefits if you will take the plus subscription. If you want to take the iconic subscription, you can even take that. And here on the screen in the iconic subscription, what are the benefits you will get? Uh, they have been shown here. Okay, so that's how guys you can just check it out like which one you are finding more beneficial for you and you can proceed further to take that particular subscription then what are the steps you have to take you have to follow to take the subscription let's talk about that first of all you can download the unacademy learning app then you can select your goal for example csr ugc net as it has been mentioned here the sessions the courses which we will have in this category will also be helping you in your gate exam preparation and other similar exams preparation too after that you can select your uh, duration for how much time you want to take the subscription then you will be getting a place to write the referral code write it there apply it and then uh, you will be proceeding further to take the subscription after taking the subscription you will be able to join and attend the live classes by all the top educators we are having on unacademy plus one more thing guys i would like to tell you here that is if you will be joining these courses and classes by the top educators they will be helping you a lot to take your preparation to the next level and even to prepare very well in very less time for your upcoming exam one more thing i would like to include here and what's that that simply because time to time new courses are going to start on unacademy plus so even if you will be taking the subscription right now you will be able to join these new courses and classes by all the top educators we are having on unacademy plus and the next thing is even if you are finding any course which is already going on and you want to attend the sessions of that course 
so you will be able to check out the previous classes recordings too and you will not miss anything there now let's just start the discussion about the important question which we will be covering here and the concepts involved in it i hope it will be helping you then so here is our question from gate 2020 exam okay but uh, the topic is very important the type of question you can even expect in your upcoming gate as well as in csr net exam so important for both okay and the question is which one of the following which one of the following relations determines the manner in which the the electric field the electric field lines are ref refracted lines are refracted across the and when i'm going to tell you the question this way you can even catch the words that is this word going to provide you some idea it can be related to this or that okay that's very important to consider across the interface between two dielectric media having elect dielectric constants which are epsilon 1 and epsilon 2 and you are even having the figure given to you in this question so you can check out the figure as well now what is the figure so basically a boundary has been shown okay the interface between the two dielectric media so that's this interface now the electric field lines and the components have been shown basically this is just dotted line you have to consider a straight line but dotted line because it's not the main boundary uh now this is the another electric field component let's say this angle is theta 1 and this is e1 this angle is theta 2 and this is e2 okay now the point is what is the boundary here what is the boundary here so one side they have shown this side okay that's e1 another side they have shown is e2 so what's the main boundary we will have so that's like this line now we will be reading the question once and we will finalize it but before that let me just even give you the options until that point of time you can try it this question is mainly related to the boundary conditions topic of the electromagnetic theory part so yeah you can check out the question statement once you can just have a look at this what they have given what they are saying and accordingly take the steps i hope you will be able to get the answer if you are familiar with the boundary condition topic but if you don't know about it here i will be sharing some important points with all of you and they will be helping you to work on any such type of question so just try 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 we will be talking about it soon epsilon 1 tan theta 1 equal to epsilon 2 tan theta 2 option d is that's going to be epsilon 1 cot theta 1 equal to epsilon 2 cot theta 2 okay that's what we are having here next thing which one of the following relations determines the manner in which the electric field lines are refracted across the interface between two dielectric media having dielectric constants epsilon 1 and epsilon 2 okay so these are the epsilon 1 and epsilon 2 constants even they have been mentioned in the figure this way okay so that means what that means this is the one side of the uh, like boundary okay one media and this is the another media we will have that's what we are having the information here done in this case guys 
if you have to consider a few things what are these things let's talk about it on the next slide so you should know about the boundary conditions okay this is one of the most important topic for your upcoming exam and if i'm going to talk about the boundary conditions so related to electric field related to the displacement vector what are the boundary conditions you need to know let's talk about them first of all if you will consider this is a boundary between the two media okay if you will take the parallel component of electric field for this boundary what it will be this and this okay these are the parallel components then the perpendicular components this and this so imagine one thing that if you are taking the component in this way is there any any barrier anything in between you are finding no there will be nothing you can take a uh, let's say sheet keep it like this in front of you okay and then try to consider one component above the boundary and take its parallel component you will find like there is no barrier in between means what the parallel component or you can call it the tangential component it is continuous okay for the given boundary while if you will take the perpendicular component this way any component at a time you can take you will see there is a barrier in between you can't keep on moving that way if there is a sheet in between you will just have to stop there okay that's a discontinuity so perpendicular component of electric field is discontinuous while the tangential or the parallel component is continuous this is what you need to know and mainly the numericals which we get in the exam they are related to the continuous components so which means e1 parallel equal to e2 parallel okay that's what we are going to have next thing if i will be talking about the next thing here that's related to displacement vector as you got to know that electric fields parallel or tangential components are continuous at the same time you also need to know but for displacement vector we are having the perpendicular components which are continuous so as mainly we are having the great chances that we can expect the questions based on the continuous components so this is what you actually need to know now the next thing is once we will be working on these conditions we will see how we are going to reach to the answer so even if you are the one who is not familiar with the boundary conditions um much more you don't know about this topic much more so by knowing about these two conditions you will find that the questions which have been asked in the previous years in the net and the gate exam you will be able to work on them easily and these two are going to help you a lot in solving those questions so i hope it's surely going to be helpful now let's work on the question we were having okay this one so basically guys if i will be working on this question firstly i need to draw the figure again so this is going to be this way we are having theta 1 e1 theta 2 that's how e2 done and this is epsilon 1 this is epsilon 2 now in this case this component will be what if this is the media if this is the media media like boundaries okay boundary between the two media not the media that's the boundary in that case what is its perpendicular component this one this one this one how we can find it it will be e1 cos theta 1 reason behind it because along with that component or this this part we are having the angle so that will be giving us the cos theta there uh, for this one we will have e2 cos theta 2 e2 cos theta 2 another thing if i will talk about this component what it will be it will be e1 sin theta 1 because it's perpendicular as per this angle which we are having here okay so that's why e1 sin theta 1 what about this one e2 sin theta 2 which is the tangential component okay next thing if i'm going to talk about the next point here that is we know that electric fields parallel or the tangential components are continuous means e1 sin theta 1 is equal to what e2 sin theta 2 so let's write the first equation as per that boundary condition e1 sin theta 1 equal to e2 sin theta 2 okay next thing now if i will talk about the displacement vector that is d1 perpendicular equal to d2 perpendicular okay so d1 is what epsilon 1 e1 perpendicular equal to epsilon 2 e2 perpendicular because we know that displacement vector is equal to epsilon into electric field okay epsilon into e so that's how you are going to get the same component of electric field because that was the perpendicular component you were considering next thing 
if you will write the perpendicular component what it will be this is the med boundary okay not the media boundary then this is the perpendicular component okay for the first media so that is e1 cos theta 1 equal to epsilon 2 e2 cos theta 2 okay the perpendicular component once again now you got this you got this equation equation 1 equation 2 equation 1 with the electric field condition equation 2 with the displacement vector condition divide equation 2 by equation 1 what will be most suitable thing 1 by 2 or 2 by 1 you can see epsilon 1 is there multiplied with the theta 1 so that means you don't want it uh, everywhere epsilon 1 with theta 1 epsilon 1 with theta 1 epsilon 1 with theta 1 means you will be keeping it there you are not going to do the cross multiplication anyway so that means divide equation 2 by 1 when you will be doing that even even cancelled out you will have epsilon 1 cos theta 1 upon sin theta 1 that's cot theta 1 theta 1 epsilon 1 together epsilon 2 cot theta 2 this is what you will have so this is the final equation you got and it's present in option d hence option d is the correct option you will be finding many such type of questions in the previous years in net and gate exams so you can check them out and you can even work on those questions now if you got to know about these boundary conditions and these points will surely be helping you uh, to solve more and more more and more and many important questions okay so guys i hope each and everything will be clear to all of you and now you are ready to work on any such type of questions and as i have told you one thing here that if you think you want to get the guidance by the top educators and you want to attend the regular live classes by the top educators so in that case guys you can take the unacademy plus subscription or unacademy iconic subscription and you can proceed further to take the subscription even by using and by applying the referral code which is anjali a live as it has been mentioned here on the screen you will be able to get the 10 percent discount in the total unacademy plus subscription amount so this is how guys you will be able to get the 10 percent discount by using and by applying the referral code and you can start your preparation under the guidance of top educators as well which will help you a lot to be more confident and to get to know about many 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 important topics and points thank you so much everyone for joining this session thank you